All right, so a song came on. The name of the song was called Video Game Champion, and it got me thinking about uh, all the old dope video games I used to play and all the old really cool RPGs I used to play. Like uh, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasies, anything on Super Nintendo. Like, I feel like every RPG on Super Nintendo was fucking amazing. Um, anyway, and I was also thinking how, like, I learned way more about this world through role-playing games and, like, Dungeons and Dragons than I ever did in school. And I think that anybody who's ever played those games will completely relate to that. Like, the only thing, I mean, just, like, from dialogue, like, I, I read so much more in RPGs. Like, I would love to see a bar graph of, like, the amount of dialogue read in an RPG compared to, like, in school. It would be insane. Um, like, ba like fundamental math, like, weapon upgrades, comparing armor, um, all the different categories and resistances and things like that. You're looking at so many numbers on just, like, a character fucking information screen in an RPG. It's, like, it's not even close. The they shouldn't even do math anymore. They should just have kids play RPGs in school. I mean, they would actually like going to school and they would learn so much more. And uh, here's something really cool. Um, in RPGs, um, like you, the, like this is how spirit spiritual attacks worked in RPGs. Like typically, a character would start out with a set number of spirits, and they might call them spirits, our espers our summons, whatever. Basically what it is, is it's a spiritual entity that is on that character's side. And if you're a good character, or like a main character, you start out with more of them than most people. And uh, really, really good main characters start out with six, typically. Um, and when someone attacks these characters, because the main character is always the good guy, when, when another character sends a spiritual attack on a character, that attack is either going to get taken or eaten. And that's depending on if the main character has a soul eater. He typically doesn't start with one, but he can get one, especially if he's attacked a lot by bad people. Soul eaters are special because soul eaters will either eat a spiritual attack and become stronger or they'll take that spirit because they like them and that spirit that was sent to attack the person likes the person more than the piece of shit that sent that spirit thus the main character collects spirits and his soul leader gets stronger That's how it worked in RPGs. All right, love y'all. Peace.